Hi, good evening everyone. My name is Mr. Al Hassan. So in today's lesson, we're going to be work, um, focusing on how do I balance an equation. Uh, so today's the 15th of September 2021. Okay. Now, there's a few rules that you need to abide by when you are solving equations. So the first one is step one. I've written it on the uh, PowerPoint. Undoing what you've already done. That's the first step you need to do. And step two, do the same things to both sides to keep the equation balanced. Uh, that's the second step, okay? And as usual, I'm gonna go for a couple of examples to help you simplify things a lot further. So what we have first is, grab my pen, we have two A plus seven equals 15. Now, the first thing we need to do is to ensure that the positive seven is cancelled out. Now to cancel it out, we need to eliminate, and to do that, we're gonna minus it by seven, because seven minus seven is equal to zero. So we're literally undoing this equation, which is step one, seven over here. Now seven minus seven, as I said to you before, gives us zero, cancels out. 15 minus seven is eight, on this side, and what we have left on this side is 2a. Now there's two ways of solving this equation. What would you need to multiply the two by to give us eight, which is four a is equal to four, or you can divide both sides by two, which gives us the four. Okay, so our final answer is a is equal to four. The second example, eight x plus nine equals seven. I'm gonna undo the equation by adding nine to both sides. And what we have is 8x plus 16. Okay, now what do we need to multiply the 16 by, sorry, the 8 by to give 16? Well, it's 2. And you can always check whether this answer is correct by substituting it back into the equation. So uh, we have 2 times 8, which is 16. 16 minus 9 is 7. So that's correct, and that's correct, okay? A third example involves 3b plus eight equals 14. Now, as usual, I'm gonna minus eight from both sides. And what we have is 3b is equal to six. Now again, at this stage, what you need to do is ask yourself, what do I need, what do I need to multiply the three by to give us six, well, b is equal to two. And that's our final answer. Um, now, let's have a look at this question again. So we've got 10c minus eight equals 24. I'm gonna add eight to both sides. And what we have is 10c is equal to 32. Now, what do I need to multiply the 10 by to give us 32? Well, the answer is 3.2, okay? Again, you can always check whether your answer is correct or not by putting it back into the equation. You put them back into the equation and you should get the exact same answer on this side. Now, next, let's have a look over here. So we've got 8b plus three equals minus five, minus five sorry. Again, the first thing we do is minus three from both sides. And what we have is eight B is equal to minus eight. Now, what do you need to multiply the eight by to give us negative eight? Minus one. So B is equal to minus one. We have three Y minus three equals minus 12. Again, the first thing you need to do is to add three to both sides. What we have is three y is equal to minus nine. Now, what do you need to multiply the three by to give us minus nine? Y is equal to minus three. And that's our final answer. Again, just check it, plug it back into the equation, and it should equal to the final answer. Um, what we have here is 3b plus 4 equals minus 5. 
As usual, I'm going to mine, undo the equation by minusing 4 from both sides. Minus 4. We have 3b equals minus 9. 3 times something gives us minus 9. Minus 3. Okay. And over here, we've got 6y minus 6 equals minus 12. We're going to add 6 over here, add 6 over here. What we're left with is 6y is equal to minus 6. What do you need to multiply the 6 by to get negative 6? y is equal to minus 1. And that's our final answer. Um, you can test yourself with these uh, series of questions. So the first one, these are not really one-step equations. Uh, sorry, two-step equations, they are one-step equations. So what do you add to 8 to equal to 23? That's a simple one. Uh, have we got this question? 17d minus 4 equals 3. Uh, 6c plus 6 equals 12. 2k plus 7 equals 23. You can pause the video and have a go at these questions. And yep, so I'm just going to give it, skip it to the main set of questions. So just bear with me. Okay, so pause the video and have a go at these questions. All right, thank you very much. Bye.